Hey everybody, welcome to Weather Pattern, lesson 1.2. Um, this is an exciting unit. We're going to uh, focus in on some storms and uh, learn about forensic uh, meteorology and uh, meet some interesting people along the way. Um, yeah, yeah, all sorts of stuff. Um, interesting sim, too, that we have in this unit. Um, that we're going to be uh, it being introduced to today. Um, there's a lot that goes on there and a lot of information that we can get from that as well. So let's dive right in and let's start with a warm up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on it here. Do, 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 do. All right. So the warm up says you may have seen a diagram like this before. What does this diagram show? Explain your thinking below. Ooh, look at this diagram. What is going on here? You know what? I have seen something like this before. I'm pretty sure that this is showing something called, what was it? Oh, yeah, the water cycle, the water cycle. But just what is it showing and what does that mean? And that's what you're going to answer right down here. Record your thoughts about the diagram in the space below. So try to explain, like, what is happening here? Um, yeah, yeah, in the different parts of the diagram. I'm going to give you a minute to do that, okay? So uh, go ahead and write down your thoughts on your mark. Get set, go. All right, what do you think? Maybe we said something about uh, some, some vocabulary that we've heard of before, like evaporation, condensation, precipitation. Um, maybe you've heard these words before. If not, hey, we're gonna talk about them some more, don't worry. Um, but yeah, 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 and uh, we got the sun here, we have clouds and looks, what looks like some rain. So like some sort of body of water, the arrows showing the direction of something. I'm guessing the arrows are showing the direction of water. But hey, you know what? Again, we will uh, explore that some more. Uh, what's happening here? Ah, there we go. Here's our vocabulary term, our first one for the unit. It is weather conditions such as rain, clouds, and wind at a particular time and place. Now, in our last unit, we talked about ocean, atmosphere, and climate. And here's my question for us right now, which if we were in person, I'd be asking you too, how are climate and weather different? What is the difference between weather and climate? Because they, don't they both you know, deal with things like uh, temperature and, and, and rain and things like that? So what is, what is the difference between weather and climate? And I want you to explore that a little bit. Um, and then I want to discuss that when we come back together as a uh, full class. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is watch a video. So I have uh, uploaded this video to my YouTube channel, also attached it to your lesson. Um, it's a news brief. It's a, a, a breaking breaking news. Um, we're going to hear from uh, Hayden, I forget Hayden's last name, and Kenji, Kenji Emerson. Um, and we're going to be learning about something that has affected the, the, the town of Gale Town. Yes. So go ahead and watch this video. Um, and then come on back to me. Hey, I am on tab number two up here um, in this lesson. So what did we find out? What did we learn? Oh my gosh, Gale Town affected by this huge storm. Poor Carlos had a tree fall on his house. Uh, poor, uh, I forget what that other lady's name was, the bookstore owner, uh, bookstore flooding. Oh man. So Kenji, uh, what is Kenji's job? Well, it's to figure out why the storm happened in the first place. They said the difference between uh, a forensic meteorologist and I guess a, a, a non-forensic meteorologist is he is looking at what caused weather, not trying to predict uh, the weather in the future. I'm sure he could do that with his skills and uh, knowledge base, but uh, that's just his job is to, again, find out what led to these severe storms. Um, so there were different opinions thrown around out there. And uh, let's, let's look at some of these claims that we have. Uh, what caused Gale Town to have more severe rainstorms? Because as we've seen, and as was described, oh, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm not gonna sneeze, uh, I'm not gonna sneeze. Got it, captured it for later. Um, there were different uh, opinions of what's causing these storms, right? Carlos had an idea, and there's some other ideas floating around. Claim one, let's look, let's look at claim one, is that the lake, Oh, I can't highlight it. The lake that was built near Gale Town caused it to have more severe rainstorms, okay? 
Um, something about the lake. We don't know what about the lake. I loved it when, um, uh, 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 <laughs> what did, what did uh, uh, Hayden say? Do you, have, do you have evidence that supports your claim? <laughs> it, just, it just sounded exactly scripted like, like our own lessons are, right? Um, it's beautiful. Uh, claim two, warmer weather caused Gale Town to have more severe rainstorms. Well, that's interesting. Why would warmer weather cause that? And claim three, stronger winds caused Gale Town to have more severe rainstorms. So these are the claims that we have. Um, we know it's either going to be one of these or a combination of these. Uh, and we're going to, again, explore uh, what causes severe weather first. We need to uh, understand that. And that will help us to understand what is going on specifically in Gale Town. So uh, the first thing that we're going to do uh, after this is the sim. We have a few things we're going to be doing in the sim. Um, the sim looks like this. Ta -da. And we want to make sure that we are in the regional weather one mode. Okay, we find that up here in the uh, menu. Uh, you start off in the lab, but we want to come down to regional weather one. Uh, reload. Yeah, sure. I'll go ahead and just reload that. All right. So exploring the weather pattern simulation, regional weather one. Launch the weather pattern simulation. Do that uh, with a partner. Eh. Uh, explore regional weather one mode of the weather pattern sim to become more familiar with its features. I asked you to do this yesterday after we took our pre-unit assessment to go explore the sim, but do that now if you haven't done that already. When you make any discoveries about the sim or notice anything interesting, be sure to share with your partner uh, that you don't have. Um, but but we can talk about anything interesting that you did discover uh, next time we meet. So let's go to number two. Yep. Uh, we already did this. We launched it. We went to regional weather one. Uh, and here we go. Use the sim to investigate how the amount of surface water can affect the amount of water vapor in the air. What is the connection they're making here? Oh, I get it. They're making a connection to like the lake, aren't they? Right. So there was not a lot of surface water before they built that lake in Gale Town. And then after they built the lake, there was a lot of surface water, right? Surface water, surface water refers to the amount of water that's on the surface, okay? So um, in the build, set the level of surface water. So what are they talking about there? Well, we're in the build right here, okay? Here's build, run, and analyze. So we're in build right now when you load this. And you can see down here, you can change the amount of surface water. Ta-da! It starts off at three. Um, and then what do they want you to do? Decide uh, on a level of sunlight. This should stay the same for both tests one and two. So we're gonna be doing two tests. So whatever level of sunlight that you have, make sure it's the same for both. I'm gonna crank it all the way up because, well, why not? Um, switch to run, press pause when the temperature turns red. Well, what does that mean? Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, run, ooh, look, it, it totally changed. Um, oh, and here's the pause button right here up in the right-hand corner so I know Okay, so I'm just waiting for that temperature to turn red. Then I'm gonna hit the pause button. Doop -de -doop. Oh, it turned red, it turned red. So I, I hit the pause button, I stopped everything. Okay, and then now what does it want me to do? Um, record the amount of water vapor at that moment. If needed, go to analyze and use the time slider to rewind the sim. So maybe you hit it a little, maybe you hit the pause button a little too late. Well, if you go to the analyze uh, tab, you can uh, go back in time, right? And find out, okay, well, what was everything when it turned red? So that's actually a really nice feature right there. All right, so, um, oops, 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 here we go. I'm back on run. Oh gosh, no, no, stop. Oh, okay, now I really need to go to the analyze tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and go, there we go. There, there, there I'm at right there. And what do I need to do? What do I need to do? I need to record the amount of water vapor, okay? So what was my surface level, uh, surface water level? I had my surface water level. Does it tell me on here? It doesn't tell me on here. Well, it was three, right? I left my surface water level at three. So that's what I would put right there, surface water level three. Water vapor, where do I find my, oh, here it is right here, water vapor. And my temperature is red, okay, remember? And my water vapor is 34 kilograms. I can also see, my water vapor right here next to the temperature, 34 kg. So that's why I write right here, 34. Already has the units there, that's fine. Then you'll do test two. But what do you do with test two? You repeat it with a different amount of surface water. Remember, the same amount of sunlight, but now a different amount of surface water. You will record your data 
down here, and then answer this question. How did the level of surface water affect the amount of water vapor in the air? Okay, so you need to analyze it. Look at your water vapor, and how did the amount of surface water affect the amount of water vapor? All right, do that, and then let's move on to uh, three and four. Three and four are just some vocabulary terms for us. The first one is evaporation. Uh, you've probably heard this term before. Evaporation, the process by which a liquid changes into a gas. So when water evaporates, it's changing from a liquid into a gas. How does it do that? It gains energy, right? It gains so much energy that the molecules are able to break loose from their liquid form and uh, uh, be free to, to take on a gas form. Um, water vapor, ooh, ooh, here's a, here's a key tip. Oh, here we go. Water vapor, water as gas. Pro tip, water vapor is colorless. It's clear. You can't see water vapor. So when you look at a cloud, what do you see? Do you see water vapor? Or do you see something else? Well, if, water, if you can't see water vapor, a cloud must be something else because you can see a cloud, right? Okay, we'll get into that later on. Um, and then condensation, the last term. Condensation, the process by which a gas changes back into a liquid. So you have evaporation, liquid to gas, condensation, gas to liquid. I wonder how energy plays a role in all of these things, and energy transfer. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we'll explore that at all. We will. Let's take a look at your homework. Here we go. A couple things for the homework. Um, we got a nice, bunch of nice pretty pictures to look at. Uh, identifying water on Earth. Uh, water is an important part of weather, right? Of course, it's, it's one of the main things that we talk about, whether it's going to rain or not, okay? Um, here in the Bay Area, usually not. Um, but we do get rain occasionally. Um, look at the images below and answer the questions. Okay, so here's the first question. Well, let's look at the images first. Oh, nice pastoral setting there. Ooh, ooh a desert. Reminds me of uh, insignificant uh, events in the life of the cactus. Um, ooh, and some mountain, mountainous area with some snow. I like it. I like it. Uh, the first question is, in which of the images is water present? You may choose as many as you think are correct. Go and choose all of them that you think are correct. Where, do you, where is water present? Yeah, okay. Um, and then, where is there water in the images? Again, choose as many as you think are correct. So of all the images, do you, is there water in the air? Is there water in the lake? And the clouds and the snow. And then the last one, put the images in order from where you think there is the least water to where you think there is the most water. Okay, so A, B, and C, you can see the images do have labels C, B, A, least to most. Uh, the next part of your homework. Hey, this looks like the warm up, doesn't it? And I take the image below with, word, with the words in the word bank and then answer the questions below the image. Um, hey, look, condensation, evaporation. We had these terms earlier, didn't we? I hope, I hope that you know what rain is. If not, you can look it up. Um, and then condensed liquid water, condensed liquid water. Well, that's interesting. What do they mean condensed liquid water? Hmm. Uh, put your thinking cap on and uh, try to figure that out, okay? So ex put these, you can drag and drop these into the boxes on the image, and then explain the image above using the following words, condensation, evaporation, cond condensed liquid water, and rain. So this, again, is very similar to the warm-up, um, but now we're applying some of the things that we have uh, talked about and learned about in this lesson. Hey, the next part, family homework experience. I love that. I love the sound of that. And it says optional. Hooray. It's not optional. I want you to do this. Uh, so the, for the family homework experience, exploring weather and water at home, uh, it says work with a member of your household to go outside and observe the weather and water in your environment. Uh, you may work with more than one member of your household. You might need to explain a little about the water cycle in order for the member of your household to be able to understand what you're observing. So describe. What are your local weather conditions? Well, what was weather? Hey, we had a definition of weather earlier, didn't we? Um, let's go back. Oh, man. Where was our definition of weather? Uh, oh, I think it was right here. The second page of the warm-up, right here. Yes, conditions such as cloud, rain, clouds, and wind at a particular time and place. 
Well, what if there's no clouds to describe? Well, that's what you would say, right? Um, so describe your local weather conditions, go outside, talk about the weather. And then if you see water somewhere in your environment, describe where it is and how it might be part of the water cycle. Fantastic, love it. Um, I love it when we get to uh, bring our family members, the people we live with um, into our learning experience. So that's what you're gonna be doing. Um, that's the lesson for today. Make sure you have this done by the, two, uh, by the next time we meet. Um, for, the, for some of you that's tomorrow, for some of you that's uh, Friday. But anyways, yep. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, that's it. Bye.